Hello and welcome to Geophysics Made Easy with Blueback Reservoir. In this episode we're going to look at colored inversion. Colored inversion is based on an approximation that sparse spike inversion can be modeled with a simple convolution process. This process requires the seismic to be convolved with a wavelet whose amplitude converts the seismic spectrum to that of the Earth's acoustic impedance spectrum. In our case, that's from the well logs. Um, in order to complete this process, we design an operator which will take the seismic spectrum and shape it so it best matches that of the wells. This is done uh, interactively by <coughs> adjusting min and max frequencies and frequency taper. So this process works by first taking a average spectrum from the wells, which represents the Earth's acoustic impedance. Then we create uh, an average spectrum from the seismic. And finally, we design an operator which can translate between the two and convert the seismic into acoustic impedance. And finally, we use the operator uh, on the seismic to create that volume. Let's um, just finally say, OK, colored inversion, what's in it for me? Well, colored inversion is a very quick method of converting seismic to acoustic impedance. We can use it to transform rel reflectivities into petrophysical properties like VP, VS, and Rho and there's a tool in the SRC toolbox to do this. We can also use it to create extended elastic impedance from intercept and gradient, and extended elastic impedance is most frequently used to produce fluid and lithology cubes. Um, just, just remember, inversion is not a dirty word and uh, can be a very easy process. So let's have a look in portrayal how that works. So what I'm going to do is first of all open up my blueback home and choose the tool firstly colored inversion operator design and if we have a look here the first step is to take the wells and get an average spectrum from the wells by using the acoustic impedance log and here we get uh, the spectrum of the wells in green and a sort of best fit in blue we can also smooth the spectrum of the wells if we like um, maybe if we have a little bit of background noise by using more than one well. So here's our uh, spectrum from the wells, which is representing the acoustic impedance of the Earth. Um, it's a best fit based on the wells, but we can also enter a manual uh, number here if we if we like. So 12 and 0 0.6 is more or less what I've got. The next step is to create a average seismic spectrum from your seismic. So here I'm going to choose my FAR stacks <coughs> and I'm going to select a thousand random traces and recalculate. And here I get my seismic average spectrum in blue with a smoothed um, spectrum in red. I can adjust the smoothing here and you see it's reflected. So the next part is to take this seismic spectrum and apply an operator so that it best matches the wells and you see this uh, transformation happen down in this bottom left hand plot. We have the wells spectrum in blue, the seismic in red, the operator is in green and a sort of a convolved result is in yellow. So as I adjust the smoothing here you see the convolution change uh, and also if I increase the high and low frequency frequency cutoffs here. So in this case it's probably better to adjust the high frequency to about 60. I get a nice nicer shape there <clears throat> and to take a little bit of care to find the smoothest smoothest result. So by reducing the smoothing on the seismic I get a much nicer match here with that of the wells. Then simply just to give it a name, press apply and I now have in my input tree <coughs> an operator. I can double click on that and see the settings for the operator. Um, but what that does is then let me input that into colored inversion. So in here I can choose my new operator and I can take my, for example, my intercept and transform that to color inverted intercept AI. I could then go one step further once I've color inverted both intercept and gradient and for example use the extended elastic impedance volume by inputting both color inverted intercept gradient 
and that will help me produce a <clears throat> seismic cube which uh, can best highlight fluids. So uh, again, thanks for listening, and any questions, please let us know.